today I am sharing with you a swap that I joined. The swap is called June, I think it's June fall swap um, or autumn. It's autumn themed so I had to get out all of my uh, fall and autumn theme paper to create all of my items and uh, so it went pretty well. I was surprised. I had so much to um, decorate with and so it was really fun. So I wanted to share what I re what I made for you and and the host for this swap is Tiffany McGill over at Coffee Cake and Crafting. That is her Facebook group and then she has a YouTube channel here and I will put the link down below for you. Also, um, for this swap, y'all, we have to we had to do a, a few things, um, more than a few things, but <laughs> I'll share that with you in just a minute. I went ahead and it created five die cuts. Okay, I did a notebook holder that had to be like three by four, and mine I think was I think mine ended up being four by six. Um, and then I did a tea bag holder. I did a mini pendant size three by four inches. We had to do a shaped three by three note card. And my note card was a little bit bigger than three by, I think it ended up being three by four or something. Uh, yeah, I think it was like three by four. And then we did an anything goes, which means that you can either do a store-bought goodie or you could make extra embellishments for your partners. Um, we also had to do a branding page and I just ended up doing like a little card with my um, information from social media on it. So let me go ahead and share with you what I did. And then I also did a few tutorials for you after uh, after this. So that way you could see what dyes and stuff I used because I think I put all of my dyes away before I made this. <laughs> so and I don't want to dig everything back out. But um, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to reply to you. Okay. So the little bags, I actually, these are bags that I get from my Tonic Studio kit every month. And uh, so I saved a few of these. And so these are what I packaged my little goodies in. And then I used some paper. Now the paper that I used, I believe is from Cartabella. One is a perfect autumn. One is a photo play paper called Autumn Orchard. Another paper that I had was um, uh, the story of fall, and that's Echo Park uh, paper. And then another paper I used, so I just kind of, because I only had like bits and pieces from each one, and then I had the sticker sheets. And so I just kind of combined everything together. And then the other one I used was Pumpkin Spice, and that was a Recollections uh, paper pad that I had. And so everything went along, I mean, went together really nice, and I was really surprised. But um, yeah, so then I just cut out some borders and cut out the words, uh, Happy Fall, y'all. Stuck these little flowers right here. Now those flowers I bought, I can't, I think I bought these on Amazon like a couple of years ago. And um, they are just some sunflowers that I that I thought thought would be useful and they were <laughs> so I went ahead and and put those on there and then um, let me go ahead and share with you what I created so um, everyone's is pretty much the same except for a few like the giveaway the the little uh, items store bought things that I bought so let me pull these out okay of the package Alrighty. So there's one of the store-bought goodies that I'm sending. And then here is my little packaging for some of my things that I created. So here is the little tea holder. And this was really nice. This was really fun to make. Um, super easy, you guys. And Tiffany had put a little tutorial in her Facebook group. So I just went ahead and did that one. And it turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely love this. And again, everybody has basically the same thing, except for the designs might be different. Now this says for you. And I just used some little sticker leaves on here that I had in my stash. I used a little lemon. It's actually um, taped on there so it doesn't fall out. 
Inside, I went ahead and just did a, a little stamp that says, a nurture a friend and an enduring friendship will bloom. And I thought that was super cute. So, and then here I did, here's my little three by three note card. It's actually a little bit bigger than three by three. And I used one of the um, dies had a sunflower. So I went ahead and colored this up with some gelatos. And I went ahead and did a little small tutorial for that. It just basically a share and then um, I did happy fall y'all and I cut those out with um, the die cuts now this and the happy fall I went ahead and cut those out extra to give as my die cut um, a few of my die cuts uh, for the um, for the swap so yeah and then on the back I just added some washi tape here and this opens up like this and then the little card I created was actually used from the um, a mushroom die that I received from Kimmy Murray a while back. I think it was last year during my birthday, and um, I thought it was super cute as a card, so I thought, why not, you know? <laughs> and then on the inside, it just has a little sticker, and I thought that was super cute. And so, and then I, I created the envelopes myself. So, and then there's that. And then here is the little pennant that I did. I thought it turned out super cute, you guys. And I, like I said, everybody has um, a pennant. The only thing that might be different is the um, decorating of the pennant. So everyone has one, but they're different. Now I did use a die for this little uh, pocket piece. And I went ahead and actually cut out the pocket piece to send to um, all of my partners. So each one has one of those. And then um, I decorated them with the sticker sheets that I had. And I really like how everything just came together. Um, everything just came together so nice. And, um, whoop, hold on one second. My little tape is sticking on the back here. And stick that back in there. There we go. Okay. So there we go. And then here is the little tea packet and that just falls in there just like that. So everything's just nice and neat. I just thought that was super cute. And then um, and then what I did is uh, I went ahead and made each person a little um, notepad. And I share with you how I made the notepad too. So I did a little tutorial on that. And I thought that was super cute. And I just decorated with my stickers again. And um, I share with you how I created that. Super easy, you guys. A matter of minutes, really. And then I went ahead and created this little, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Clothes pin. I just went ahead and did some little um, pieces of the burlap. Um, that I had, uh, actually it was a ribbon, and I tore it apart, and I used the leftovers as like a little decoration for the sunflower. And the little sunflowers, I think I got these at the Dollar Tree last year, you guys. Um, I found them in my stash, so I thought those were super cute, so I went ahead and added those along with my little um, branding page, is what we're gonna call that. And then I did a little bag topper, and that is it. And then just stuck that right on there like that. And then here are my die cuts. And again, for my die cuts, um, I went ahead and did, um, they all have the same die cuts. The only difference might be that um, the, pa the papers, the designs might be different on some of them. So, um, so I did some little baskets that I had I think I did a, a haul tutorial, or uh, not a haul tutorial, but I shared a haul, and I shared these um, little baskets, and I actually got these little baskets off of AliExpress one year, and then here are the happy and the fall. Here are some pumpkins with leaves. Here's the sunflowers that I did, and I thought those turned out really cute, and then again, the little pockets, um, pocket die that I had, I went ahead and and shared that so um yeah so there is that 
and all of those are just going to go right in here. And then um, for the top, I went ahead and just made a bag topper. Now the bag toppers we didn't have to do, but I went ahead and did it because you know it's always nice to you know make your your bags look really you know uh, presentable and you know you want it to be nice. So so I went ahead and did that. So I went ahead and did that and. Um, and then everything just kind of fits like right inside of the plastic bag that I had. So the plastic bag is right here. So I'll take this die out. And I did, I gave everybody a little die um, that I had in my stash. Um, I was going to give these away. And um, so I thought, well, I'm just, I'm de-stashing right now, you guys. I will uh, be sharing that with you a little bit later. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I will be stashing some stuff here soon. So, anyway, so you're just going to go ahead and stick this all in a little bag. Just like this. Yeah. And then I was just going to stick this back here and, and close this up. Sealed. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, just like that. And then close. When I found these bags, I forgot that I had saved them, and I was like, "Oh, what can I wrap these in?" Because I usually do t tissue paper, and I and I don't mind doing the tissue paper, but sometimes I'm like, I wish I had like little bags to use. And I really don't want to go down uh, to McKinney today, which is another town over uh, the the next city over or whatever. And so I just I just didn't really want to. I didn't feel like driving today, you guys. It's so hot outside. It's over 100 degrees, and I just really didn't want to do that. <laughs> so to close this up, what I'm gonna do is I decided to go ahead and use like a little pop dot or a glue dot. I mean, not pop dot. Um, and I'm going to use that to kind of close the bag, okay, to kind of seal the this right here, and then right here, okay, and because I'm not sure if just like that, right? And I'm going to stick this. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I thought this might look really nice here, like that. Maybe it may not stick down. I've noticed lately, you guys, none of my tapes and even my double stick tape and my glue is giving me issues um, staying down on things. So I think it's between the humidity and the heat and everything. So then the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to pop like a little hole in here. So I actually, yeah, I may have to put a little hole right here on this side here. Let me grab my little hole punch. Let's see, uh, maybe this might work. I don't know. Let's see. So I wanted to just put a little hole in here. Just like this. Actually, I wanted it in the middle, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, it'll work. So, um, and then I'm just going to grab a tag. And I have these little acorns on here. I totally forgot that I bought these last year from Tiffany because she's still stamping up. And they are acorn trinkets. And so I went ahead and did like a little. Um, in there and then I'm just gonna stick stick this through here like this So just like that, and it's just going to hang there just like that, and I thought that that would be pretty cute. Again, I'm not quite sure about this tape here. It's 
uh, yeah, it's not sticking down like I wanted it to. So, and again, it's just washi. So I'm just going to grab that, throw that out. <laughs> So thanks for joining me today, you guys, and I will be back later to share with you what I received from my swap partners. Take care and have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. Down below, I have some more fun crafty videos for you to view. Please subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos and hops and tutorials. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up.